Hello everybody, Jimmy Poma here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I will show you five simple ways to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out the entire playlist I've uploaded so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The topic of this video is how you're able to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Note 9, but this will also work if you have the Samsung Galaxy S8, the S8 Plus, the Galaxy Note 8, as well as the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Now, if you do follow all five steps of this video, but you still find your phone to be slow or sluggish, one of the things you are able to check out is if you have a micro SD card that is inserted in the phone. You want to make sure you're using a class 10 or higher. So if you look at the micro SD card, you see a circle with the number of 10 on the inside, you're perfectly fine. If you see one with a circle with a smaller number than 10, you definitely want to get a newer one because it is slowing down your phone. Unless if you have a micro SD card that has the letter of U with the number of one or three, then that is actually faster than a class 10 card and you're perfectly fine. The other two things to look out really fast is if you make sure you don't have any app killers, any application that is killing or stopping any background applications. Your phone technically does it for you. That is actually making your phone run slower and also make sure you don't have any extra security applications. Uh, Samsung Knox is already pre-installed. It does a fantastic job and a lot of phones already have security from Lookout. Now, if you have a additional security that is also slowing down your phone. With all of that stated and behind us, now let's talk about the five ways to speed up the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, one of the first ways to speed it up is by checking out the resolution of your screen. So if you pull down the notifications panel twice, I do wanna show you something inside of the performance modes. So I press and hold on performance mode. And one of the things I do wanna show you is inside of high performance, you'll see that the screen resolution is underneath the WQHD Plus. Now, if we also look underneath entertainment, this one is also with a screen resolution of WQHD+. Now, the one thing that I do want to take from the game mode is the screen resolution, which is the FHD+. This is the one that's right in the middle of the options for screen resolution. It's a way it's able to make the phone run smoothly. It'll take a lot less processes of this phone to run something at full HD+, instead of the wide QHD+. So all you'd have to do is once you go inside of performance mode, hit on your settings underneath the optimized, and this is where you're able to change your screen resolution from the very top option to the middle option. So not only will it save you a little bit of battery, but it'll also speed up the phone a little bit faster, which is creating a little bit less resolution that it has to process to show on the screen. Step number two to speed up the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is by making some of your application underneath the status of inactive. Inactive just means that they are not running in the background, which would be taking up some of your battery, taking up some of the processes. If you make them inactive, it will make it run a little bit faster. So pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. You're going to go to the very, very bottom underneath where it says about phone. And inside of about phone, you will be heading over into your software information. And this is where you go to build a number. You will be tapping this seven times and you will be unlocking the developer options. Now, if you have a code to type in, put that in. And now you have just unlocked the developer options. Now, once you hit the back button a couple times, it'll take you right back over to the settings. You're going to scroll all the way down and below that about phone that you were just in, you just unlock developer options. Inside of developer options, you will be going all the way to the very bottom. And what you'll be looking for is inactive applications. Now, once you tap on inactive apps, this is a place you're able to check out what is active, what is inactive. If something has not been used for maybe seven to 10 days, it might actually turn it into the inactive state. So this is not running anything in the background. So one of the things you are able to do is if you know of a couple of these that you don't really have to have on right now, you are able to toggle them. So if you'd like to make maybe Bank of America be inactive, maybe this game of Brain It On, now this one will also be inactive, and you're able to go through all of these to make any of them inactive, and it's a way that they're not running in the background. Now, as you've gone through all the applications that you would like to have inactive in the background, one of the things I do wanna show you is that this with this game right here with Crossy Road, I do have it set up as inactive, and some of those applications do take a double tap instead of a single tap. I don't really know the example or reason why behind it. But if you do tap it one time and it doesn't go inactive, tap it twice, it will be inactive for you. And just to let you know that if you do open up Crossy Road, this little game that I just made inactive, it'll pop it up initially right away. And so the great thing about that is that it's a way that you're able to make something in the background inactive without really deactivating the application. Step number three to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is by heading right back over into developer options. So if you head back over into settings, 
you'll scroll all the way down to where it says developer options and again you'll go to the very very bottom and this is where you're going to check out where it says the limit background processes now underneath here it just says a standard limit and you can also make it to where there's no background processes but this will probably cause a lot of issues with some of those applications that you do want to run in the background but you can actually make it to where you can have at most four processes with the option of four processes, what it'll do is it'll keep the most recent applications that you are using and the ones that are most active to be running in the background, but limiting it to only four as the maximum. Step number four to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is by going underneath your device maintenance. Now, if you head over into your settings, you're gonna go down here where it says device maintenance. And inside of here, you'll have the option where you're able to optimize it right now. So mine is running at 90 out of the 100, which means excellent. It's probably because I have very few applications running in the background because I've already limited a lot of the processes. But you are able to hit on that optimize now. It's going to clear a lot of different applications in the background, some of your um, free up of your storage in the background. But you can see my phone is actually running pretty well. And it's probably because of how I already have my phone set up, which is actually why you're watching this video. Another thing is underneath the memory inside of here, you are able to also clean it up now. So it's able to clean up a few different running applications in the background. And so this way you're starting fresh and then you're able to make your phone run a little bit quicker. So far, we have changed the resolution of the screen. We've also made some of the applications in the background inactive. We've also limited the background processes all the way down to four. We've cleaned up the RAM. We've cleaned up everything else that was running. We've optimized the phone. Now to the very last step, this is one that's also inside of the developer options. This is something that I do with every single one of my phones that I own because once you have done this one time, you have to do it with every phone after that. And that is by going from screen to screen to screen extremely fast. Now inside of the developer options when you scroll down you're trying to look for window animation scale transition animation scale as well as the animator duration scale now with these three what will happen as example let's say that we put the animation scale to five originally this was at one x which means that there is some type of animation happening going between application to application and window to window and you can see here that it came up really slow now with mine i put all of them down to the 0.5 so then this way when it goes through all of these different screens it actually goes pretty quick so you can actually see the difference of this going pretty fast you are able to move some of these down to zero if you want to but what's going to happen is let's say that we press and hold you see that this little jumping this little bumping icon right there um that is the animation scale that's actually part of the animation of touch Wiz to make it move around um, and sometimes you might see that if you turn everything down to zero this will not move at all and maybe sometimes some of these icons won't show up. So if you happen to notice an issue with pressing and holding on an icon, uh, make sure you check out to see if your animation scale is turned on or off. So to be safe, I always keep mine at 0.5 because I'm still able to go through all of my screens extremely fast. And you can see that there's really no animation going on with that. It's just going directly over to where I want it to go. So this has been five ways to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. If you guys did like this video or if there's something that you've learned that's brand new inside this video, make sure you just give this thing a huge thumbs up. Up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here, this little bottom left hand side, that little red circle. You can subscribe that way. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.